ഓം വക്രതുണ്ട മഹാകായ സൂര്യകോടി സമപ്രഭ നിർവിഘ്നം കുരു സർവകാര്യേഷു സർവദ സരസ്വതി നമസ്തുഭ്യം വരദേഹാമൂപിണി വിദ്യാരംഭം കരിഷ്യാമി സിദ്ധർഭവത്ത മേ സദാ ഗുരുർബ്രഹ്മ ഗുരുർവിഷ്ണു ഗുരുർദേവോ മഹേശ്വര ഗുരുസാക്ഷാത്പരം ബ്രഹ്മ തസ്മൈ ശ്രീ ഗുരവേ നമഃ ഓം സഹനാവത്തു സഹനോ ഭുനക്തോ സഹവീര്യങ്കരവാവഹൈ തേജസ്വിനാവധി തമസ്തമാവിത്ഷാവഹൈ ഓം ശാന്തശാന്തശാന്തി ഓം ശ്രീ പരമാത്മനേ നമഃ അതൃതീയോധ്യായ ശ്രീഭഗവാനുവാച ശ്ലോക നമ്പർ ആത്മന്യേവസന്തുഷ്ടുവിൻറ്റീൻ Shloka number 17. So from here, you can see here a shift in the change, in, change of the topic. Having talked about the, the Yajna and this, the cosmic Yajna, സൈക്കിൾ ജഗത് ചക്രം എ ബിഗ് യജ്ഞ എ ഹ്യൂജ് യജ്ഞ വെർ ദർ ഇസ് ഇന്റർ ഡിപെൻഡൻസി ഓഫ് ടീംസ് ദ വൺ ഹു കോൺട്രിബ്യൂട്ട്സ് ഫോർ ദ പെർപെച്വേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദിസ് സൈക്കിൾ ഇസ് എ കർമ്മയോഗി ഈസ് എ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂട്ടർ അറ്റ് ദി സെയിം ടൈം കൺസ്യൂമർ ബട്ട് ഹി കോൺട്രിബ്യൂട്ട്സ് മോർ ദൻ വാട്ട് ഹി കൺസ്യൂംസ് ദോർ a karma yogi by his karma in keeping with dharma being responsible and sensible person he he helps in making the wheel rotate the cosmic wheel the cycle whereas a karmi who is a consumer who is a consumer who is ingrateful who exploits the the nature and therefore the order so that that person is a stenaha and he will be and he, he will be away from the that uh, that sense of alienation the sense of the alienation otherwise otherwise the the goal the ultimate purushartha the goal the moksha moksha purushartha is away for this person whereas karma yogi is not away being a contributor being a sensible and responsible person adhering to karma moksha is not far for that person karma yogi therefore moksha moksha is not for therefore sooner or later will become free from samsara whereas this person karmi since he is a karmi he is after artha and kama even at the cost of dharma 
and uh, he doesn't abide by the order. He is not a contributor. He is not a contributor. On the other hand, he, he exploits exploits the nature. He is a is a is a, is a disturbance in this cycle. He causes disturbance in the cycle. In the process, he gets disturbed. That per that person, his sense of alienation will continue. He will be going away from the Purushartha because of his selfishness, because of his hunt for the Artha and Kama. He will be moving away from the goal, the real life goal, that is Moksha. So, therefore, a Karmi who is selfish moves away from the ultimate goal of life. Whereas karma yogi is one who moves towards the, the goal. The that is the purpose of life. Move towards the goal. Sooner or not later, you will be free from samsara. You will become a samsari. Whereas this karmi, he continues to be a samsari. He continues to be a samsari. Even though, even though not a contrib contributor, he consumes. It, it, only those who contribute can have the privilege of being a consumer. But this person not being a contribute, he just consumes. Therefore, the nature, therefore the law, the order, the order takes care of this person. So in the process, he gets disturbed. He gets rubbed. When he rubs the order, as Swamiji says, rub, when he rubs the order, he gets rubbed. Swamiji used to tell a, a joke. When you rub against the, the tamarind tree, nothing will happen to the tamarind tree. Only you will have bruises all over on your back. Tamarind tree will remain as it is. Similarly, when this person rubs against the order, he will get rubbed in course of time. So therefore, this karma yogi will not get prayers in the language of Katopanishad. Neither shreyas, both he will be deprived of. Okay, that is what uh, we have seen. So, therefore, having talked about that, now oh, the next topic here. Here, the result or the, the end of Karma Yoga, which is Jnanam, and the nature of the person who enjoys his Jnanam is talked about. That is, how long a person will do Karma Yoga? The question comes, how long a person must continue to be a, a karma yogi, a contributor? A person has to contribute, a person has to be a karma yogi as long as he has not gained jnana and becomes free from samsara. Only a jnani is free from only a jnani is free from the karma. Karma yogi is not from the, free from karma, doing karma. He is doing karma because the goal is moksha. Therefore, karma yoga takes to moksha indirectly. Whereas jnani who has attained the goal, for him, the means are no more, the, no more helpful. For him, there is no karma. There is no karma involved. He doesn't have to do anything to attain something. So the goal already is accomplished. So for the one who has accomplished the goal, Tasya Karim it doesn't have anything to be, to, to be anything to do. So, who is that person? Atmarati. Atmani. Rata Atmani eva ratihi. Yes, yes. Atmani eva ramanam. Pritihi. Enjoyment. The one who revels in himself. That is, it doesn't depend on external objects or external beings or external situations. In spite of the situations, whatever it be, external, the person revels in Atma, Atparatihi. Yaha, Manavaha, that person who revels in Atma is Atma Triptaha. Atmani Eva Triptihi Yasya Saha. The one who is tripti, tripti means satisfaction. 
द वन हुज सेटिस्फैक्शन नॉट विथ अर्था नॉट विथ काबा इज सेटिस्फैक्शन इज ओनली विथ आत्मा बिकॉज आत्मा इज पूर वन के नॉट बी सेटिस्फाइड विथ एनी अमाउंट ऑफ अर्था एंड काबा विथ एनी अमाउंट ऑफ अर्था एंड काबा वन विल कंटिन्यू टू बी ए वॉन्टिंग पर्सन gaining which that gaining which that a person becomes free from bond is that is gnanam atma gnanam this person has gained karma yoga karma yoga as a indirect sadhanam helps the person to gain this gnanam karma yoga means for gnana yoga gnanena gnanam moksha iti therefore so this person has gained the end ultimate end therefore is atmani eva triptihi asya saha triptah is got satisfied is satisfied with atma therefore no other purushartha the ultimate purushartha moksha purutta purushartha that is in the form of gnanam gnanam drakatu atma atma gnanam is gained therefore is tripti the satisfaction is with only atma therefor atmani eva tripti hi atmani eva santushta is is a contented person santushta trip santushta also means happy he delight santosha his happiness doesn't depend on any other thing there is no sadhana apekshatvam bhagya vastu or bhagya sadhana he is happy with himself is contented with himself he revels in himself for that person who is that person is a gnani is a gnani because of karma yoga he has gained he has gained freedom relative freedom from raga dvesha and therefore and therefore he pursued gnana yoga in the form of shastra patanam shavanam mananam nidityasanam by which he had got the clear vision of himself that is gnanam That is, that is, Jnana Meva Moksha. After Moksha, after knowing that Agam Brahma Atma is free from, is free, is is ever free, is free from Sukha Dukha, then that Atma is myself, Purna Ha, Sada Purna Ha, having known this. What Karya Vidyate, what Karya, what work, what can he do, what does he have to accomplish in life? Nothing. the end that is a end ultimate end sadhyam which achieved therefore there is no work to be there is no work to be left to be done by this person therefore gnani doesn't have karma gnani doesn't have karma that is what is said how long you will do karma as long you have not become free so long you have to do karma once you become free you don't have to do karma you will not have karma you will not have any karma to be done so you become free when you become free you are free from karma a gnani is not a karma yogi gnani will not do karma a karma yogi will do karma because he has kartrutvam kartrutvam indicates agnyano when a gnani also does karma yoga then it's a problem the gnani also has got kartrutva then is not a gnani it's a contradiction gnani doesn't do karma because he knows himself to be akarta abhokta atma akarta abhokta he knows himself to be atma atma is akarta abhokta being akarta abhokta how can he do karma so only a karma yogi can do karma karma yogi is also agnani karma yogi only karma yogi also can agnani also agyani only only karma yogi can do karma karma yogi and karmi karmi of course karmi of course is uh, is neither really after shreyas or even prayas prayas also he will not get the material benefits seem to he may be seem to get be getting but really not so but for karma yogi who is also an agyani he won he only has karma to be done because he has a end to be achieved but the agyani who has achieved the end what karma is left out for him to be completed nothing tasya karyam navidyate there is nothing more to be done therefore how long karma yoga as long as you have not become as long as you have not become free you are free 
once you know yourself to be atma once you recognize that jagat karanam brahma atma agam asmi iti therefore atma ratihi atma atma santushtaha atma triptaha all these words indicates the person has gained the knowledge of atma is a jnani so jnani doesn't have karma therefore tasya kasya jnani nah karyam na vidyate it doesn't have any work any action to be done so whereas for the person who delight in the self whereas for the person why whereas in the previous shloka evam pravartitam chakram for the perpetuation of this jagat chakra one has to do karma the action one has to contribute who the karma yogi whereas this person whereas for the person who delight in the self in the atma who is delight atma rati hi who is satisfied with himself atma tripta ha content in the self alone atma santushta ha atma niyeva santushta ha atma santushta ha there is nothing to be done he doesn't have to contribute for the perpetuation of this jagat chakra because he is free because he is free therefore therefore who has to contribute for the perpetuation of this jagat chakra jagat this cosmic will the karma yogi being a sensible responsible person he only has to do for this person is free it doesn't have it doesn't it doesn't have any karma to be done is free if karma has to be done in order to keep the cosmic will going does everyone have to perform it that question come as an answer to that question only this this shloka if everyone everyone has everyone should perform karma no some people do gain moksha they are called gyanis atmatruptah atmasantushtah so some people do gain moksha does this mean that karma becomes a way to moksha after after all and gyana and knowledge has nothing to do with it why this shloka is important is even after gyana if a person has to contribute for the perpetuation of the jagat chakram then it will result in gyana karma samuchaya that is gyanam as well as karma required for moksha that's a problem that is purva pakshi there is gyana karma samuchaya vadi the purva pakshi the opponent he will argue that that is gyanam with karma gives moksha we don't accept that gyanam only gives moksha there is no even a lesha of karma involved in gaining moksha so therefore tasya karyam na vidyate iti when bhagavan krishna says he doesn't have anything to be done that with no karma required no karma is required after gyanam therefore where is gyana karma samuchaya gyanam with karma no krishna has already said karma karma yoga doesn't produce moksha directly therefore he had to address this doubt here if karma were the means for moksha then everyone have to do karma only as a yoga but karma is a means of for moksha no it is direct means for moksha karma yoga is not the means for moksha let alone the only means it is a means for antakarana shuddhi purification of mind jnana is the only means for moksha meaning that there is no karta kartavyata that there is nothing to be done karma involves kartrutvam jnanam doesn't involve kartrutvam so for moksha jnana sagita karma sagita jnanam its contradiction karma is got karma implies kartrutvam jnanam implies akartrutvam how two things like light and darkness can coexist the same place same time and that is a means for moksha no therefore there is no jnana karma samuchaya if knowledge is a means for moksha and the person gains that knowledge then there is nothing else for him for him or her to do there is no kartavya there is nothing to be done no kartavya because the person is not bound by any karma knowledge having destroyed the doer the kartrutvam the kartrutvam is destroyed by gyanam then what it is gyanam if kartrutvam has not gone then it is not gyanam without the doer karta is not there that how action is possible and karta is sublated 
when karta is sublated and karta is dismissed then how gyan then how action is possible therefore knowledge destroys doership completely kartrutvam completely if someone is addressed as a doer who is it that responds only a person who takes himself or herself to be a doer a karta the one who is not a doer is not addressed at all and therefore of course doesn't respond whereas in the present shloka in the present shloka is to distinguish a non doer from the doer akarta from karta therefore shankaracharya calls the non doer sankhya ear that is gyani meaning one who has self knowledge is sanyasi such a person is a sita pragya as we as we saw in chapter 2 second chapter sita pragya lakshanani for this person there is no doubt error or vagueness with reference to i the atma therefore no no atma cannot atma is not karta therefore agam akarta bhukta how can he do karma karma requires kartrutva this person has got clear knowledge of atma therefore kartrutva not there and how can he do karma therefore therefore no karma possible then how can he contribute for the this side this perpetuation of this jagat chakra is it not a papa because he doesn't contribute no because he has gained the ultimate end so therefore he is therefore he doesn't he is not a consumer anymore his presence itself is a blessing for all is a presence itself is a blessing to to the jagat therefore he doesn't have to contribute he is released as a veda releases the gyani from all the karma so to here also he is released he is released because his life itself is a blessing his life itself is is a is a blessing is a contribution so therefore tasya karyam na vidyate in order to become happy in oneself with oneself a person has to become steadfast in this knowledge of atma this is not possible for a person who looks upon atma as a samsari a limited sorrowful puppy person the moment such a person thinks of himself or herself he or she is unhappy because atma is looked upon as a doer as enjoyer as one who has limited knowledge an imperfect person a puppy and so on because he or she cannot be happy in the atma the person has to look towards something other than the self and must manipulate the world or the mind in order to gain even a small degree of happiness an enjoyer a bogi manipulates the world whereas yogi manipulates the mind a bogi is one who looks upon the world as something to be enjoyed and goes about manipulating situations manipulating the world to create conducive situations wherein he or she can discover a moment of joy the situation thus created pleases a person but only for the time being whereas whereupon the process of manipulation must begin again whereas a yogi is one who doesn't manipulate the world such a person is concerned only with his or her thoughts contending that the pleasurable mental disposition picked up by the bogi through manipulating the world can be created straight away in the mind thus the yogi goes about manipulating the mind whereas a bogi goes about manipulating the world there is another yet person yet the rogi bogi rogi yogi rogi is who is diseased that he or she cannot manipulate the world much less the mind he cannot he is incapable of doing because he is a rogi diseased person sick person such a person cannot keep himself or herself in good humor because of the pain of illness nor is he or she healthy enough to manipulate the world so for this shloka distinguishes a a karmi from a from a, a karma yogi from a gnana yogi so therefore gnani doesn't have any karma to be done karma karma in karma is done for some specific purpose that is becoming involved whereas gnani who has gained that to be gained is ananda doesn't is not is not there in is is doesn't involve in to become something is ananda is is swarupananda is in himself 
this ananda is not to not in terms of gaining something or becoming something becoming is samsara as some ji says wanting to become becoming is samsara sam so becoming is samsara and then gyani is it doesn't want to become something he is as he is 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 acceptable complete self acceptance self non acceptance is a problem therefore only a person wants to become something so that the self is acceptable whereas this person for whom the self is accepted because of gyanam accepted there is no self rejection there is no self rejection therefore there is no becoming becoming is a problem and being is gyana becoming is samsara being is asamsara asamsara being is gyana becoming is to, to become you have to do for being there is no doing only knowledge so this gyani is being whereas karma yogi is becoming at least karma yogi has got a goal karma yogi has got the end in view therefore he works for it that as a karmi he doesn't have any goal he doesn't have any goal even the short term goal what he has and he works for that the means it's the means the what he adopts to gain the short term goal that is not the real means also he will not gain the end at the short term ends also short term means so he will continue to be a, always to be a yeah yeah wanting to become person so therefore there is there is no tripti there is no ananda there is no satisfaction with uh, any amount of artha and karma so he will continue to re- revolve in this cycle of becoming so whereas gyani is free and karma yogi works to be free karmi continues to be a samsari so therefore from this shloka onwards and the next few shlokas following shlokas the gyani is going to be talked about the gyanam is a result of karma yoga not directly always when we say karma yoga gives antakarna shuddhi and uh, antakarna shuddhi is required for knowledge to take place therefore followed karma yoga followed by gyana yoga and that by that the person gains gyana and becomes free discovers the discovers the freedom not becomes free is already free he discovers oneself to be free so that's called self discovery discovering the self to be ever free that is gyana therefore only atma truptaha atma atmani eva ratihi atmaratihi atmasantushtaha iti so the next shloka following shloka is going to talk about the the gyanam and gyani in contrast with the karma and karma yogi we will see we we'll continue the next class om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadhaya purnameva vishishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Hari Om While talking about Karma, karma Yoga, suddenly the Shlokas come. It means there is a shift in the topic. And Bhashyakara, when we study Bhashyam, Bhashyakara says that whereas, whereas means the topic change. Having talked about Karma Yoga, the uh, the jagat chakram that is in uh, that is a, a presentation a way of presenting the karma yoga jagat chakram you want us to contribute for this cosmic will etc then the topic changes it means therefore you have to see the the, the change in the shift in the topic and connect it so starting from this shloka 17th shloka and further onwards you will see the 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 gyanam is talked about the gyanam and the gyani so the qualities of a gyani the qualities uh, of this this the greatness of this gyanam and 
if you see even krishna talks about himself krishna talks about himself being a jnani he also continues to do karma does he become a karta no a jnani also does karma but it doesn't bind the person because resident of kartratvam even though he doesn't have to do but still he does to set an example for the world so that people follow so all those other topics are going to come very interesting topics so here up to karma yoga this is over so 16th shloka then for the 17th shloka the the gyanam is going to be talked about gyanam and the gyani also the why gyani also does karma seeing gyani does karma one may think is one may think he has got kartrutva no one may uh, seeing him a person may think that after becoming gyani one has to do karma and karma samuchayavadi will say after gyanam also karma is required for moksha you have to keep doing karma you have to Uh, keep embellishing your uh, antakaranam karma is required all those things are going to be dismissed bashakara will dismiss in the bashya the jnani doing karma will not will not impuru is jnana jnana is gained is gained then why does he do karma not for any selfish ends not for any not with any selfish motive it is for జగతిదాయ లోక సంగ్రహ దట్ ఈస్ అనదర్ టాపిక్ లోక సంగ్రహార్థం ఏ కర్మ కరోతి సో దోర్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇయర్ ఆన్వర్డ్స్ సెవెంటీన్త్ శ్లోక ఆన్వర్డ్స్ దస్ అ షిఫ్ట్ ఇన్ ది టాపిక్ దో ద చాప్టర్ ఇస్ కర్మ యోగ బట్ యూ సీ దిఫ్ట్ ఇన్ ది దాపిక్ సో దట్ ఈస్ నో ఎనీ ద వాటర్ టైట్ ది డివిషన్ the second chapter is sankhya yoga gnana yoga there are also karma yoga talked about so here in karma yoga this chapter is named karma yoga the karma yoga is a central theme but gnana also talked about so we have to spell, we can segregate the shloka based on the uh, based on the the content as gnana as karma yoga you can segregate and understand that is a good exercise also Anyway, we'll stop here. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.